Vince told me, oh, that was, that's what you want to get on camera. That was culture shock when he told me I wasn't going to be a godfather anymore. But he says, I'm going to put you in this group. I'm going to poke fun at this group that's censoring this and that. He goes, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to try to get you back out there as godfather. But it really never happened. But uh, I was ready to quit. The day that they put me in the RTC, I was like, I'm out of here, Vince. And like I said, then he dropped the straps on us. And then we had the straps. I wasn't going to walk out on them. So as soon as they took the straps off of us, I'm like, I'm out of here, Vince. So he knew he knew your reaction was going to be going with this? Yeah, Vince, is, he used to fight for me. He used to say, Charles, he calls me Charles. Charles, I'm fighting for you. And he was. But they were coming down on DX and the Suck It, yeah. Val Venus, and really, they were... Me, I couldn't be on during the week. I couldn't be on Saturday mornings. I couldn't be on Sunday mornings. I had to be on after 9 o'clock at night. I couldn't say Pimp. I couldn't say Roll a Fatty. I couldn't say Ho Train. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't. If you do, and it just, he's like, Charles, I'm fighting for you. And he did. If it was up to Vince, I always tell Vince, you're the biggest pimp I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was out there, so, I mean, I was on live TV. <laughs> I was on live TV. And I was out there. Man, so you, I mean, but you were done. You were ready to quit that day when you heard this. You yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We're taking away the most profitable, the most <sighs> over gimmick in the company right now. Oh. And we're going to kill it off. Dude, yeah. I was a mid Carter, over, more over than top guys. Yeah. And I was a mid Carter, oh, more over than top guys. And that was me and my wife coming to that, you know, we put that all together. That was not the WWE. That was just them giving us all creative control and saying, do your thing. My wife, we had a seamstress making vests, an airbrusher, airbrush. We had a jeweler making jeweler. She had a hat company sending me hats, a feather company sending me. It was all my wife's ideas, everything. All I did was I say I just, I just went out there and bit was myself. <laughs> the first day we tried it, it got over, it, like Rover, man. It, it was. I went from you know a couple people noticing you in the airport to people going, Godfather, what's up? Where's the hose? We want the hose. And so it was, it was cool. It was cool. And I, like I said, I am still the Godfather. I'm still, believe me, I'm still the Godfather. If I dress like this with these type of hats, of course. But if I dress down and put on a hat and stuff, I don't get noticed as much as these hats. Mm -hmm. I was walking through the the casino here and. Uh, Normally, I could walk through with that hat on. They're like, dude, aren't you pop, aren't you Godfather? You know, so yeah. you, you can be as noticed as much as you want to be noticed. I keep it low key, man. I keep it real low key. You did get a return as the Godfather, though, for, for a little bit, right? Was, was this, did you, how did you feel about this? Was it kind of like uh, too, it was too late? Them or? It was Godfather light. And it was just, I couldn't do this. I wasn't a pimp anymore. I had an escort service. The girls, you couldn't call them ho hoes. They were whatever. And it was just, it was light. I couldn't, it was just Godfather light. And people wanted the old raw Godfather. So it didn't work because it was light. And, you know, and it just, it, you, people wanted the, the real raw Godfather. They didn't want a light version. So it was time for me to step out. I think I told Vince, I might have been in Vegas. We might have did a show in Vegas, Vegas. And I went to JR and Vince and said, I'm done. And they just laughed. They just said, are you done, Charles? I'm like, yeah. And then they, I think they said, are you interested in doing any commentating or anything? I said, nah, I'm done. It's time for me to move on. And that's how it ended for me. Just like that. On good terms, though. I mean, yeah, I'm, dude, I've, I've been on a Legends contract since 2003. That's almost 20 years, bro. Right. I've been getting quarterly checks so I did something right when I was there. And, and here's the kicker, to be, it, it, not that I had a bad attitude, but it, 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 credit to me to just be out there having fun and doing what you can, the best you can, and to be put in the Hall of Fame for that is great. And I used to say, well, they'll never put me in the Hall of Fame because, you know, of a pimp and this and that, that's and that. But then I start looking about, there's a reason that I've been on a, Legends contract for 20 years because my characters weren't legendary, but they're, people will remember them forever. You're going to remember Papa Shango and making the Ultimate Warrior throw up. You're going to remember the Nation of Domination. And you're sure in hell going to remember the Godfather.
Mm-hmm. And that's, I think, even 10, 20 years from now, you'll still remember. You remember that Godfather dude that came out with the girls? Huh? You know, it's so mm-hmm. very memorable characters. Uh, and that, I mean, this year alone, I mean, the, I mean, one of the best, biggest accomplishments you can make with a Legends contract or anything like that is to be put in their video games. That's hard to get in that video game. I'm in it every year. And I think this year, I mean, there's two characters, Papa Shango and Godfather. So, I mean, you know how many characters they have to choose from to put in that game for them to put me in it twice? And then to narrow it down and have you as a select. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm just uh, grateful and blessed. 